Hey you guys, this is Lucius back with another home workout. Uh, just showing you once again, you can get an amazing workout at home. You don't necessarily need to have equipment. Uh, there's tons of things you can do with a little creativity. And so let me show you what we're gonna do today. Um, it involves some tricep work. We're gonna be doing some dips, which is a great at home thing you can do and also some burpees. And so it's sure to get intense. Um, but first we want to warm up a little bit for this. So um, I've got three movements for you. Uh, the first one is so-called plank up. You're going to do this for 30 seconds. So you're going to be um, in the plank position. Get your body nice and straight, core tight. And you're just going to alternate between going down to your elbows and coming back up. And super warm up for your core and for your arms. You're going to do that for 30 seconds. Then you're going to transition to mountain climbers for 30 seconds which are just alternating, bringing one foot forward in a dynamic way. So you're just gonna jump back and forth like this. Try to bring your foot far forward. So if you're only jumping to here, not far enough, and also get your foot flat on the ground. So like that, do that for 30 seconds. And then the last warm up movement we have for you is just a hip extension, kind of like a crab walk, but you're not walking anywhere. Just thrust your hips up get high, and this also warms up your, um, your deltoids, your triceps, gets your core going. So those are the three movements, each of them for 30 seconds, uh, three times, so three rounds in total. And so now that you're nice and warmed up, um, before we do the actual workout, we've got a strength portion for you. It's gonna involve some dips and some air squats. And so a really great exercise to do at home is just to do dips between two objects. And there's various ways you can do this. Uh, you can get a chair and just have your arms up on the chair with your feet extended like this and just go into a dip. And so um, there's a few things you wanna look out for here. Keep your elbows together. Um, let your elbows go backwards instead of going outwards like this. So this is bad form, but have your elbows go down and definitely wanna go low enough so your upper arms are parallel to the ground. So only going this low is not really as effective as getting full range of motion. And that might be easy for you. So you can also do your dips between two objects. You can do two, two chairs if they're you know, sturdy chairs. You could also do a table and some other object, like a sideboard or like in your kitchen. Um, the distance might be good and so you're just gonna get between the two objects and do your dips, like this. And we're gonna go for 30 seconds, max reps. So try to get as many reps as you can in 30 seconds. You can even also add some weight if you want to. Um, could be anything. Um, just as another way to intensify the movement. So those are weighted dips. You're gonna do those for 30 seconds. Then you're gonna stand up and you're gonna take a break for 30 seconds just doing air squats. So it's just kind of like an active recovery. 30 seconds of air squats. And then go back to the dips. Five rounds in total. So dips, air squats, five rounds. That's our A part, that's our strength part. And then the workout itself is going to be burpees and it's sort of like death by burpees, but in reverse. And so what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna do a minute of burpees and do as many burpees as you can in that minute. And in the next minute, you've gotta do that number minus two. And then in the third minute, same thing, minus two reps. And so let me just show you a burpee. Probably you guys know this movement. Um, as far as I know in German, it's called so you're just gonna come down and get to your chest like this, and then you're gonna spring back up, do a little jump, and touch your hands together above your head. And so if, you're, if that's an easy movement for you, you can do it really quick by just throwing yourself down like that, and then jumping back up real quick. Um, as you start to get tired, or if it's a difficult movement for you, you can go a bit slower, you can be methodical, you can just kind of like let your, ease yourself down, step back, bring yourself down, step back up, stand up, jump. Uh, one tip, one good form tip for burpees is how you jump back up. 
Um, the most common error I see is jumping too narrow. So when you're jumping up, people go like this, or they're unstable, they jump onto their toes, and they're really narrow with their feet, and this is not really a good position to jump from. The easiest way to do this is to jump wide. So jump wide, jump up. So you're gonna do as many minutes as you can until you get down to zero burpees. So if you do 10 burpees in the first minute, you're gonna do eight the next minute, six the next minute, four until you get to zero. And uh, that's it. So the harder you go in the first round, the longer the workout's gonna be, but really try to go max you know, all out on that first round. And so that's the workout. You're gonna be definitely nice and tired at the end of that. Oh. <clears throat> so for the cool down, we'll just do the good old couch stretch, which is, I think, my favorite stretch of all time. Uh, so for the couch stretch, you're just gonna get on your hands and knees with your feet against a wall. This is the first step. And then you're gonna put your knee into the corner like this. And then the next step is to bring this other leg forward like this so that your shin should be perpendicular to the ground. So don't be like this or like this. You wanna look like this. And then you're just gonna stand it up. And one thing you can do is kick with the foot in front of you to really push yourself into an upright position. Make sure to keep breathing. And once you get good at that, you can also then do things like put your arms above your head and really extend the muscles here, extend your, to really stretch out your hip flexors. Super important stretch, especially if you're sitting at home, sitting at home in a chair all day uh, to keep yourself limber, mobile, you gotta stretch your hip flexors. So you're gonna do the couch stretch for four minutes. So maybe alternate each side for 30 seconds, something like that, do each side four times. And that's the workout. Hope you guys enjoy it.